Hold your breath and prepare to dive into a world where danger prowls beneath the waves. Did you know that sharks, the mighty rulers of the sea, are not immune to the crafty presence of parasites? In an evil dance of survival, these parasites latch onto sharks, causing harm and even becoming breeding grounds for other malevolent creatures. Join us as we unravel the mysterious relationship between sharks and their parasitic counterparts, where every encounter becomes a battle for life and the depths reveal a hidden web of intrigue. Moray Eel Here is a small group of sharks swimming peacefully, unaware of the lurking danger nearby. Suddenly from the shadows emerges the giant moray eel, its eyes gleaming with a primal hunger. In a swift and calculated motion it launches an ambush attack, targeting the unsuspecting sharks as they swim past its lair. With lightning speed and precision, the eel wraps its muscular body around its prey, overpowering the sharks with its sheer strength. The smaller sharks, outmatched, stand no chance against this formidable opponent. Sharks, known for their dominance in the ocean, face formidable opponents that challenge their status at the top of the food chain. One such opponent is the giant moray eel, boasting a length of 10 feet and weighing up to a whopping 66 pounds. This eel species has been known to prey on sharks, leaving no room for escape. With its ambush hunting style, the giant moray eel hides in wait, ready to pounce on any unsuspecting prey that ventures too close to its lair. But what makes the moray eel such a formidable adversary? It possesses not one, but two sets of jaws, one external and one internal. The external jaws hold the prey tightly, preventing any chance of escape. Meanwhile, the internal jaws extend further, seizing the captured prey and dragging it down the eel's esophagus. The appearance of these internal jaws is nothing short of otherworldly, resembling the fearsome mandibles of a sci-fi creature. With this deadly combination of power and precision, the giant moray eel ensures that its meals are secured and devoured without mercy. Nature's intricate web of predator and prey often reveals surprising dynamics. While sharks are renowned for their status as apex predators, they too become potential targets for the moray eel's insatiable appetite. The moray eel's ability to prey on sharks challenges our preconceived notions of the ocean's hierarchy. Its ambush tactics, combined with its formidable size and strength, make it a force to be reckoned with. While sharks may strike fear into the hearts of many, the moray eel demonstrates that even the mightiest can fall victim to a cunning and opportunistic predator. So the next time you find yourself diving into the depths of the ocean, remember the untold stories that unfold beneath the surface. The moray eel, with its insatiable appetite for power and dominance, serves as a reminder that nature's intricacies are far more captivating and surprising than we could ever imagine tongue-eating isopod. Have you ever thought of what it feels like to have a pest-infested tongue? The imagination alone is so irritating. Here, an unsuspecting shark goes about its daily hunt, unaware of the lurking danger. Suddenly, a stealthy isopod seizes the opportunity, latching onto the shark's gills and gaining access to its mouth. With cunning precision, the isopod maneuvers its way to the shark's tongue, its ultimate target. Once in position, the isopod's true nature is revealed. It devours the shark's tongue, replacing it with its own grotesque body. Yes, you heard that right. The isopod becomes the shark's tongue, controlling its host from within. It's a twisted parasitic relationship that borders on the surreal. The shark, now under the isopod's control, is reduced to a mere vessel for the isopod's survival. The isopod feeds on the shark's blood and mucus, taking advantage of the host's hunting prowess to secure its sustenance. You might be wondering how this is even possible. Well, the isopod possesses a unique adaptation, a front appendage that acts as a hook, anchoring it to the shark's tongue. This ensures a firm grip, allowing the isopod to remain firmly in place, exerting control over its unwitting host. It's a testament to the ingenuity of nature where even the most grotesque and parasitic relationships can develop. But what becomes of the shark, you ask? With its tongue devoured, it's left with little choice but to adapt. Remarkably, the shark continues to survive, relying on its remaining feeding mechanisms to consume prey. The isopod, on the other hand, 
thrives inside the shark's mouth, benefiting from its host's continued existence. This captivating tale of parasitic manipulation serves as a stark reminder that in the depths of the ocean, even the most formidable predators can fall victim to the astonishing strategies of lesser-known creatures. It's a testament to the intricate and often perplexing web of life that inhabits our planet's waters. So as you immerse yourself in the wonders of the ocean, remember the tale of the tongue-eating isopod? A creature that defies expectations and challenges our understanding of nature's complexity. The next time you encounter a shark, marvel at its power, but also consider the hidden world within, where even the ocean's mightiest can become pawns in the game of survival. The Brain-Eating Avidus In this haunting landscape is the Miamiensis avidus, the pathogen responsible for the recent mass die-offs of fish species in the Bay Area. Even an orca doesn't kill as many sharks as these. How does this parasite attack its prey? It enters its victims through the nostrils, worming its way up the olfactory pathways and embedding itself deep within the brain. Once invaded, there is no hope for treatment, and the unfortunate hosts are destined to perish. Such is the grim reality faced by countless fish in the Bay Area. Mark Okihiro, a seasoned fish pathologist at the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, has dedicated months to unraveling this aquatic tragedy. His investigations have revealed a harrowing picture. Over 1,000 leopard sharks and 200 to 500 bat rays have washed ashore in the Bay Area, their brains ravaged by an unknown invader. At first, Okihiro suspected a fungal pathogen as the culprit. However, as the death toll continued to rise, the mystery deepened. Many of the deceased fish showed minimal signs of fungal invasion, contradicting earlier findings. The pathologist found himself at a crossroads, searching for answers amidst the mounting perplexity. Then, a revelation struck Okihiro like a bolt of lightning. He recalled a haunting, epizootic of Miamiensis that had plagued a white sea bass hatchery in the past. The infection responsible for decimating the juvenile sea bass population was none other than the same pathogen that now threatened the leopard sharks. Okihiro's findings read like a spine-chilling tale from the realm of science fiction. The shark corpses, some of them eerily preserved in partial mummification, displayed devastating lesions within their olfactory bulbs and brain lobes. Traces of protozoa adorned the linings of their brains and noses, single-celled organisms exhibiting animal-like behaviors. The narrative unfolds with an air of mystery and trepidation. How did Miamiensis avidus find its way into the nostrils of these unsuspecting fish? What drives this insidious invader to target their delicate olfactory systems and vital brain structures? The enigma deepens as scientists grapple with these questions, seeking to understand the true nature of this aquatic menace. As you contemplate the depths of the ocean, let the tale of Miamiensis avidus serve as a haunting reminder of the hidden perils that lurk beneath. In this underwater realm, even the most resilient creatures can fall victim to the relentless pursuit of survival. It's a story that underscores the fragile balance of nature and the unforeseen threats that can emerge from the depths. So venture forth with caution, for the ocean's mysteries remain vast and unfathomable. And remember, as we strive to unlock the secrets of the deep, there are still tales untold, waiting to captivate our imaginations and reveal the wonders and horrors that reside beneath the waves. Nathia Marley While this minuscule parasite may seem insignificant, its impact on its daunting hosts is nothing short of astonishing. Let us embark on a journey to uncover the perilous attacks and devastating consequences that Nathia Marley inflicts upon these majestic creatures. In appearance, the male Nathia Marley possesses a distinct frontal border adorned with conical superior front lateral processes, accompanied by a slightly sunken inferior conical mediofrontal process. The mandibles are equipped with 10 or 11 dentate blades, with the overall length measuring 0.8 times that of the cephalosome. On the other hand, adult females exhibit a rectangular cephalosome sporting convex lateral margins. It is 1.2 times wider than its length and lacks particular ornamentation. But these physical attributes merely scratch the surface of its remarkable nature. 
This mesmerizing species finds its habitat solely within the Caribbean Sea, where it thrives abundantly. It prefers the shallow waters of coral reefs, predominantly inhabiting the Eastern Caribbean. Concealed amidst sea sponges, algae, and remnants of dead coral, Nathia marley employs stealth and surprise to launch its attacks on unsuspecting fish. It shares eerie similarities with blood-sucking ticks and mosquitoes found on land. Nathia marleyi employs a daunting strategy to attack its unsuspecting victims. It lies in wait, hidden among the crevices of the coral reefs that sharks frequent. When a young shark ventures too close, the parasite seizes the opportunity and launches its assault. With lightning-fast precision, it attaches itself to the shark's body, often targeting areas such as the gills, fins, or soft tissues. Once firmly attached, Nathia marley employs its specialized mouthparts to pierce the shark's skin. It then begins to feed on the shark's blood, drawing sustenance from the vital fluids coursing through the host's body. This parasitic feast can cause significant harm to the young shark, leading to weakened immune responses, loss of blood, and potential secondary infections. The consequences of a Nathia marley infestation on a young shark are profound. As the parasites multiply and continue to feed, the host's health deteriorates. The constant blood loss weakens the shark, compromising its ability to hunt and survive. Weakened sharks are more susceptible to predation from other marine predators, exacerbating the already precarious situation. Furthermore, the attachment of Nathia barley can cause physical damage to the shark's tissues. The parasite's mouthparts can lead to open wounds and skin lesions, creating entry points for pathogens and increasing the risk of infection. These infections can further debilitate the shark and pose a significant threat to its overall well-being. The impact of Nathia marley infestations on shark populations can be far-reaching. In areas where the parasite is prevalent, the survival rates of young sharks may be drastically reduced. This can disrupt the delicate balance of marine ecosystems as sharks play a crucial role in maintaining the health and stability of their habitats. Scientists and researchers are diligently studying the interactions between Nathia marley and sharks to better understand the scope of the problem and explore potential mitigation strategies. By unraveling the intricate dynamics of these parasitic infestations, they hope to develop measures to protect vulnerable shark populations and preserve the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. The story of Nathia Marley's assault on sharks serves as a powerful reminder of the interconnectedness of life in the ocean. It illustrates the delicate equilibrium that exists between predators and parasites, where even the mightiest can fall victim to the smallest adversaries. Shark Tapeworm Dive into the intriguing world of tapeworms and their impact on sharks, as revealed by a groundbreaking discovery in São Gabriel, Brazil. The fossilized remains of a freshwater shark dating back 270 million years have unveiled the oldest known record of tapeworm infestation in a vertebrate. These findings shed light on the effects of tapeworms on sharks and provide a fascinating glimpse into the ancient interactions between parasites and their hosts. The remarkable discovery was made when paleontologists stumbled upon a coprolite, or petrified feces, belonging to the prehistoric shark. The coprolite, which exhibited a distinctive spiral shape characteristic of shark excrement, was carefully examined. Upon slicing the coprolite, researchers were astonished to find a cluster of nearly a hundred small oval structures embedded within it. Initially, scientists speculated that these structures might be inorganic formations resulting from the fossilization process. However, Closer inspection revealed a different truth. The oval structures turned out to be tapeworm eggs, each measuring between 145 and 155 micrometers in length and 88 to 100 micrometers in width. The presence of pyrite within the coprolite indicated an oxygen-deprived environment, which is conducive to fossil preservation. Pyrite, commonly known as fool's gold, only forms in the absence of oxygen. The ancient tapeworm eggs discovered in the fossilized feces provide valuable insight into the early existence of these parasites. They suggest that tapeworms may have first inhabited lakes and rivers 
with aquatic animals like the paleo sharks in Sao Gabriel serving as their initial hosts. While the specific species of tapeworm infesting the ancient shark remains unknown, the egg remnants resemble those produced by worms belonging to the order Tetraphilidea. Presently, around 540 species of parasites from this order can be found residing in the intestines of modern-day sharks. Tapeworm infestations can have significant consequences for both animals and humans. In contemporary times, different species of tapeworms are known to infect animals such as swine, bovine, and fish. Poorly washed food and undercooked meats carrying tapeworms can transmit two diseases to humans, tenaiasis and cystocercosis. In severe cases, cystocercosis can be fatal. The discovery of ancient tapeworm eggs highlights the long-standing presence of these parasites throughout history. The discovery of tapeworm eggs in the fossilized feces of a prehistoric shark adds a layer of fascination to our understanding of ancient ecosystems. It serves as a reminder that parasitic interactions have long shaped the natural world, leaving behind intriguing traces of their existence. By studying the effects of tapeworms on ancient sharks, we gain valuable knowledge about the intricate dynamics of past marine environments and the enduring influence of parasites on the evolution of species. Omatocoita. What eerie interaction and relationship exists between the Omatocoita elongate and its shark hosts? This minuscule copepod, despite its size, has profound effects on the sharks it attaches itself, offering a glimpse into the fascinating world of parasitic relationships. When Omatocoita elongata finds its way onto the corneas of Greenland sharks and Pacific sleeper sharks, it establishes a permanent residence. The copepod's specialized appendages allow it to cling tightly to the delicate eye tissues of its host, creating a firm attachment that can be difficult to dislodge. This parasitic relationship poses a significant challenge for the sharks, as the copepods can impair their vision and potentially interfere with their ability to hunt and navigate. The copepod's presence on the corneas of the sharks can cause severe visual impairment. Imagine trying to see clearly with a tiny pinkish-white organism obstructing your vision. It's no wonder that these sharks may face challenges in locating prey or avoiding potential threats in their environment. However, it's important to note that sharks possess a range of sensory adaptations that compensate for their impaired vision, such as their highly developed sense of smell and electroreception. The exact mechanism by which Omatocoita elongata attacks its hosts and establishes its parasitic hold remains a subject of scientific exploration. As a copepod, it likely possesses specialized mouthparts or appendages that allow it to latch onto the corneas of the sharks. These adaptations enable the copepod to secure its position and extract necessary nutrients from its host. While the copepod's impact on the sharks can be detrimental in terms of visual impairment, it's intriguing to consider the overall role it plays within the ecosystem. Despite the potential harm it causes, it's believed that the sharks do not heavily rely on keen eyesight for their survival. They possess an array of remarkable adaptations, including their exceptional ability to detect prey through other sensory mechanisms. This raises the question of how the copepod's presence fits into the intricate balance of the sharks' sensory experiences and their strategies for locating food in their environment. As we delve into the world of Omatocoita elongata and its effects on sharks, we are reminded of the incredible diversity of interactions that exist within the natural world. Parasitic relationships offer a glimpse into the complex interplay between organisms, where even the tiniest creatures can have significant impacts on their hosts. Further research and exploration are needed to fully understand the intricate details of Omatocoita elongata's attack strategies and the long-term effects it has on the sharks it parasitizes. By unraveling the mysteries of this symbiotic relationship, scientists hope to gain deeper insights into the fascinating dynamics of marine ecosystems and the adaptations of both parasites and their hosts. So, imagine the delicate balance of life beneath the waves, where a seemingly insignificant copepod can disrupt the visual capabilities of majestic sharks. Copepods. These little aquatic crustaceans, known as copepods, 
are found in almost every water body imaginable, from oceans to lakes and from shallow to deep waters. If you've ever gulped water while swimming, chances are you've unwittingly ingested a copepod or two. To put their abundance into perspective, imagine that if insects are considered the most abundant animals on Earth, copepods can be likened to the ocean's equivalent of insects. These tiny creatures play a vital role in the marine ecosystem, living among ocean plankton and forming the crucial first link in the food chain. They start by feeding on algae cells and eventually become a source of nourishment for larger marine organisms, including beloved characters like Charlie the Tuna. However, let's focus on the darker side of copepods, the parasitic ones. Approximately 20% of all copepod species are parasites, and they have piqued the interest of scientists like our protagonist, Benz. One species of copepod is even named after him, Croyerina benzorum. But what truly fascinates Benz is their peculiar affinity for the ocean's most notorious predator, the shark. These audacious copepods have found their homes in the most unexpected places on various shark species. They inhabit the fins, gills, and even the noses of these formidable creatures. Benz playfully suggests that some copepods may even dine on shark snot. But the most astonishing revelation is that a particular species of copepod dangles from the eyeball of the Greenland shark like an eerie earring. Just visualizing this sent shivers down my spine, prompting an involuntary exclamation of disgust. Parasitism, the very concept that elicits revulsion in most people, holds a special fascination for Benz and his fellow parasitologists. From an evolutionary standpoint, parasitism is a clever survival strategy. These copepods have adapted to exploit the unique structures of their shark hosts, taking advantage of the evolutionary remnants of gills and teeth. It's as if they stubbornly cling to the idea that they are still living in a gill, even as the shark's jaw has evolved into a fearsome weapon. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the aversion to parasites. The mere thought of encountering a parasitic organism that bores into your flesh or inflicts a debilitating disease is enough to make anyone shudder. Yet, from a broader perspective, Parasites play a crucial role in shaping life as we know it. They have influenced evolutionary processes, driven adaptations, and even contributed to the diversity of species on our planet. So, while we may recoil at the idea of parasites, we cannot deny their profound impact on the natural world. As we step into Benz's lab, located just a short drive away, we are greeted by a world where the secrets of copepods and their parasitic tendencies are unraveled. In this unassuming laboratory, where scientific wonders abound, Benz and his team explore the intricate details of copepod behavior and their interactions with their hosts. Their research sheds light on the remarkable adaptations and survival strategies of these minuscule creatures. So, let us marvel at the audacity of copepods as they attach themselves to the mighty sharks, defying our expectations and providing a glimpse into the complex web of life in the ocean. While the notion of parasites may make our skin crawl, it's impossible to deny the captivating nature of these interactions and their significance in the grand tapestry of nature's design. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Here is a sea filled with sharks, their sleek bodies slicing through the water, but instead of their usual dominance, an air of desperation fills the scene. The sharks are grunting, their very existence threatened by a force far more threatening than even the mighty orca. In this subscriber's pick, we explore the shocking truth that these top predators face a merciless enemy, such that even an orca doesn't kill as many sharks as these. Witness the gripping tale of sharks and their unseen adversaries and discover a fascinating world where survival is a constant battle and the future of these iconic creatures hangs in the balance. What do you think about these creatures and their survival threat to the giant of the seas? Drop your thoughts in the comments section. Zombie worms. In the unfathomable depths of the ocean's abyss, scattered amidst a realm of hidden wonders, lies a captivating enigma, a tapestry of fallen giants. Guess what? The teeth of once mighty sharks. But these teeth do not rest in peace. They become the coveted prize for a most unusual predator, the zombie worms. These worms, 
known scientifically as Ossidax, are masters of survival in the most inhospitable environments. They possess a unique adaptation that allows them to thrive where few other creatures can. A mouthless existence. That's right, these worms lack the traditional means of feeding, yet they have found a way to extract sustenance from the most unlikely of sources. As the ocean currents gently caress the fallen shark teeth, the zombie worms descend upon their macabre banquet. With astonishing precision, they send out root-like appendages, known as roots, to burrow into the teeth. These roots, equipped with specialized enzymes, dissolve the hard, calcium-rich structure. It's as if the worms possess a supernatural ability to consume the very essence of these ancient remnants. But the story doesn't end there. The zombie worms have a secret weapon, an alliance forged in the depths of darkness. Tiny, bacteria-like organisms called symbionts take up residence within the worms. These symbionts work in perfect harmony, aiding the worms in breaking down the tooth's mineral composition and converting it into a nutritious meal. As the zombie worms feast, they leave behind a trail of destruction, a stark reminder of the never-ending cycle of life and death in the vast depths of the ocean. They transform the once majestic shark teeth into mere remnants, serving as a testament to the relentless and transformative power of nature. So the next time you gaze upon a shark tooth, take a moment to ponder the hidden world beneath the waves. Imagine the ethereal presence of the zombie worms, silently and relentlessly devouring these remnants of the past. Octopus. Interestingly, sharks themselves are not immune to becoming prey. Despite their intimidating appearance, sharks have been known to dine on octopuses. However, not every encounter goes in their favor. In the Seattle Aquarium, a peculiar phenomenon unfolded as employees discovered mutilated dogfish sharks at the bottom of the tank. Perplexed, they set up cameras and uncovered the shocking truth. A giant octopus cohabiting with the sharks had been systematically killing every shark that approached. The octopus would wrestle the sharks, rendering them immobile, before devouring them piece by piece. It was a display of calculated predation, showcasing the octopus's dominance over its unsuspecting victims. A giant Pacific octopus occupying an equally massive tank becomes the main attraction. Families gather to witness the mesmerizing display, unaware of the lurking danger within the same tank. A group of spiny dogfish sharks known for their voracious appetites and opportunistic feeding habits. These sharks have been known to deviate from their usual fishy diets and indulge in the occasional octopus feast. As the spectators marvel at the majestic octopus, the aquarium staff believes that the creature's natural abilities will protect it from the sharks. The octopus possesses a remarkable skill to camouflage itself, providing a shield against potential threats. And if that fails, it has the strength and agility to engage in a battle or quickly seek refuge in a nearby hiding spot. Little do they know what truly ensues when these formidable sharks and the clever octopus share the same confined space. The aquarium staff soon discovers the reality of placing sharks and octopi together. And now, you, the viewer, are about to witness it too, if you dare to keep watching, even if it's through your splayed fingers. The octopus, not accustomed to attacking sharks, finds itself facing a formidable foe. The sharks possess sharp spines protruding from their dorsal fins, capable of puncturing anything that comes into contact with them. While the octopus can rely on its defensive abilities in the wild, the confines of the aquarium tank limit its options for escape. The sharks prowl menacingly, their rows of teeth primed to crush their next meal. This real-life version of Jaws promises a spectacle that may not be for the faint of heart. And so, the battle begins. The fearless giant Pacific octopus, captured in this awe-inspiring footage that makes you feel like you might be squashed at any moment, wastes no time in asserting its dominance. With swift and calculated movements, it launches its attack on the unsuspecting sharks. Dogfish carcasses start appearing at the bottom of the tank, evidence of the octopus's relentless assault. As the footage unfolds, the aquarium staff and visitors alike are astounded by what they witness. They learn a valuable lesson about the true nature of octopi. While they may appear docile and vulnerable, 
There is a hidden danger lurking within their seemingly delicate forms. The danger, it turns out, was not to the octopus, but to the sharks themselves. In a remarkable display of self-defense, the giant Pacific octopus eliminates the predators that threaten its existence. The tank becomes a battlefield, and the octopus emerges victorious, proving that survival instincts and adaptability can triumph even in the face of formidable adversaries. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.